The people of central Washington count on a few days being over 100 degrees every July. Wheat farmers out here count on about 10 inches of rain every year. They usually get it. And there's a small town out here named Mansfield. Driving through town takes exactly that long. And things are pretty predictable here too. Fred Doe will be here Thursday. Rick the grocer knows every customer. He knows every car on Main Street. The blue pickups, the Zellums, Ethel Pool, she's probably just about ready to go to work in Chelan. Lynn, the cafe owner, knows her customers so well she could start their order before they arrive. Harry Beard, and it's usually a hot cake and bacon or fried one egg with hash browns and toast. Or Tom Pool, which is a ham and cheese omelet every Saturday morning, like clockwork. That's why it kind of surprised everyone when a stranger from the big city showed up. One parking meter. The only meter in 7,200 square miles. Just have a little fun. Tom Snell, the county's road boss, bought the meter as a prank. It cost me $50, <laughs> but it's, it's set here on the street every since. Tom knows most out-of-towners are not dumb enough to fall for the parking meter. No, he's going to turn oh, shoot. There, there's a typical response. Though. But you see, they don't have to be. I think we got him now. This victim was from Canada. It's a way to make money, I guess, for a small town. <laughs> and when there aren't a lot of visitors, Tom includes his friends. Friends like Harold Beard. That's Harold's truck over there. That's Harold. Give me a ticket here for crying out loud. Not supposed to get a ticket in this town. <laughs> <laughs> the meter's not just Tom's joke. Shortly after breakfast, we saw Rick the grocer nail Floyd Avenel's car. It's not light, but it does get moved quite frequently. Well, I put it in front of the mayor's car. I put it in front of the sheriff's car. There goes Lydia, the lady who owns the tavern. It's kind of fun. Now you'd think sooner or later someone would get sick of it all and complain about Tom's parking meter to the mayor. I don't think it'd do him any good. Why is that? I'm the mayor. <laughs> so maybe small towns are predictable. But if you go to Mansfield, don't be surprised if they treat you, well, like they've known you all your life. Every town's got its way. In fact, you can almost count on it. Time expired. How about an IOU? You don't even have a penny? I don't. See, Not I'm a farmer's a wife. John Larson. What's next? We're trying to work on a fire hydrant on wheels. Como News 4, Mansfield.